Hello, today I show you how to use Storm Photoshop action and here is some of results you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 3000 and 4000 pixels on one axis uh, for best effect. So if you have a photo with too small resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size, and just change the width of height's value to 3000 pixels and more. Okay, and before your section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language, the link under this video. Second step, go to image, mode, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right, go to the panel options, and check the add copy to copy it less and groups. Okay, that's all. Now how to use action. First, open your photo. And one more important thing, your photo needs to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, the layer view, you just need to select this photo, then go to the layer, view, and select background from layer. Now it's okay. The next step, open brushes file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, and press it type, select brushes, click load, then go to the download folder, and just open stone brushes file. Click done. Next step, open patterns file. For that, go to the edit, press it, press it manager. But now in press it type, select patterns, click load, then go to the load folder again and open the storm patterns file. Wait a few seconds and click done. Next step, open the action file. For that, go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions and just open Storm Photoshop action file. Okay, the next step, create a new layer and name it area. Please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use a brush tool, you can use quick selection tool or magic wand tool, or you can use uh, some of lesser tools. Uh, for this image I'm gonna use a quick selection tool. You can use any colors. Okay, the area is done. Now open the actions panel. If you close the actions panel, go to the window, actions. Uh, now find the action on the action list. Open the photo with section. Select the action and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100% and that the normal mode is selected. Okay, click play. Now message from Photoshop. Now you need to paint the area where you want to apply the water reflection. You can use any color. Please paint only on area to layer. When you will finish paint the area, please press play button on the actions panel. To continue, click stop. Okay, now click stop and now you need to paint the uh, area where you want to add the water effect. Also, you can use any colors. It's very easy. Okay, it's done. And now click play. 
Wait a few minutes, let Photoshop make all actions, and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm little scroll at this step. Ok, and when action finishes work, you can edit the final composition, and now I show you how to make this. In final composition we have uh, 5 folders, it's background elements, your object elements, additional layers, 10 color effects, and color and contour settings of all image. Ok, sometimes uh, the folders inside the main folder is opened. To close all folders, uh, please use Ctrl plus Alt case combination. Just click and hold Ctrl plus Alt. Open the first folder and then hold the Ctrl plus Alt and close this folder. And now, if you can see, all folders inside the main folders is closed. Ok, and let's start from the ground elements folder. This folder contains sky and clouds, lighting and tornado. Let's start from sky and clouds. In this folder you can see two uh, folders with clouds and the dark sky gradient. If you make double click on the dark back clouds layer, and select the pattern overlay, you can move the sky and clouds texture. Also you can scale this texture. Same with dark light clouds. If you want to add more light clouds, uh, just duplicate this layer for that use Ctrl plus J case combination or you can use uh, another way go to the layer duplicate layer click OK and now we have uh, more light ok uh, the dark sky gradient very important layer if you want to add more darkness on your background just make double click on this layer and now you can move scale and rotate this gradient very useful layer Also, you can change the opacity of this layer. The next folder is Lightens. This folder contains two layers with Lighten. You can make double click on this layer, select the pattern overlay, and now you can move the Lighten texture. Same with the second layer. Also you can scale this lighting. And the next layer it's tornado layer. Just make double click. Select the pattern overlay. And now you can move this tornado. Also you can scale this layer. It's very easy. And the last folder in this background elements folder it's a uh, quick color and contour settings of all background elements. In this folder you can change the brightness and contrast of background elements, just make double click. It's very easy. And 
Also, in this folder you can add the color tone to background elements. You can change the opacity of this color tone. The next folder it's your object elements folder. This folder contains uh, your object folder, water folder, particles, wind and rain. Let's start from your object. You can see two layers. The at original parts of your object is a very important uh, layer and a very useful layer if you want to add more original parts to your object. And now I show you how to make this. Just select the layer mask of this folder, select the brush tool and select the white color and just paint where you want to add more original parts. Very easy. If you want to hide these original parts, just change color to black and paint again. Also, you can use the layer mask of destroyed object layer, but uh, for this uh, layer mask, to erase this layer, you need to use the black color. To make visible, change color to white and paint again. Okay, the next uh, folder is water folder. You can see the water reflections and two layers with water texture. If you can see, now the water texture has uh, some opacity. If you want to make more visible uh, the water texture, make double click on layer icon, go to the pattern overlay and just change the blend mode to normal. You can change the opacity. Also, you can erase the water reflections using the layer mask with brush tool and black color. Okay, the next folder it's uh, particles folder. In this folder you can change the brightness and contrast of all particles. And uh, also this folder contains uh, all particles layers. Also, if you want to erase some space of these particles, just select the layer mask, select brush tool with black color and just erase the particles where you want. The next folder is wind folder. This folder contains only two layers. You can change the opacity of these layers. Next folder, it's rain folder. Also two layers and you can change the opacity of these layers.
And the last folder in this uh, your object elements folder, it's quick color and contour settings of your object elements. You can change the brightness and contrast of object elements. And also you can add the color tone to object elements. You can change the color of this color tone. Okay, the next folder it's additional layers, only three layers, shadow frame. You can change the opacity of this layer. Next layer it's color tone to all image. Also you can change the opacity and you can change the color of this color tone. And add contrast layer. I don't recommend to hide this layer. Okay, the next folder contains 10 color effects. Okay, and the next folder it's color and contour settings of all image. In this folder you can add the gradient to all image. Of course you can change the color of this gradient. Just make double click on the layer icon, click on the gradient and just change the color. You can move this gradient. And you can change the opacity of this gradient. Also, you can change the hue saturation of all image. You can add the photo filter to all image. If you want to change the photo filter, just make double click on this uh, layer icon and select the photo filter from list. Also, you can change the density of this photo filter. You can make black and white composition. Also, you can add the color tone to all image. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So, it's ready. Here is a result. Now you need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.